we're in a season where uh, we're emphasizing the house groups. And uh, Jennifer's going to be teaching on it because the one thing we don't want is what you traditionally might know as a house group. We don't want shallow. Our groups are going to go deep. <laughs> house groups that go deep. Because I believe that harvest is coming. And there has to be a net that can hold a harvest. And babies don't raise babies very well. Right? So we're going to need the maturity in the days ahead. But before we begin, do we have any first-time visitors? I know we do. We have Rebecca and Mariah back there. I know that for sure. Can you stand up, please? Okay. Is that on the left, that's Rebecca? On my left. Yeah. Jennifer, let's give her a... Rebecca, I hear the Lord say, is, is my microphone on? No. Okay. Rebecca, I hear the Lord say right. that... Okay. Is she on now? No. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, Rebecca, we will try again. How is that? Is that better? Rebecca, I hear the Lord say that he has some changes right ahead of you, and there's some changes that you haven't written on your calendar or factored into your schedule. But the Lord says he is going to turn you in a certain direction, and it's going to, be, it's going to seem like a shift that maybe is not so great, but the Lord says it's going to be great in your life because the Lord says he has some things for you that you haven't even imagined. And the Lord says he is with you and he's going to walk you right to where you need to go. So the Lord says, fear not, go with me because I'm taking you to a good place. Amen. Mariah, I've got a word for you and this is a pun on, the, on Mariah, but you're going to be like a wind and you're going to be in like a wind tunnel in the next few months. God's going to say you're going to feel like your hair is blowing back and everything's coming at you. But it's going to be the wind of the Holy Spirit that's going to be blowing afresh and anew on your heart. And it's not going to be ad, uh, adversarial at all. It's going to be refreshing and time, times and seasons where God's just going to say take advantage of this time because there's going to be lessons that you're going to learn during this season that will last you the rest of your Christian walk. God's going to reveal himself to you intimately, and he's going to take you from, from one level to another level, from victory to victory, faith to faith, glory to glory, and it's going to leave such a mark on you that it's going to be a landmark season for you, particularly in the next few months. Just uh, acknowledge, acknowledge what he does and what he says, because you write it down, and in the days ahead, you're going to go back to it and say, this was the turning point for the good that takes place in my life. Amen. You may be. Yes, they got visitors' packets. All right. And and just before we go, uh, Cassandra, I got a word for you. Stand up. It just said, "Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done, and well done, and well done, and well done." Some more. You're on the right track. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And God says, "I'm acknowledging it, for my eye is on you, and I've seen that you've accomplished the purposes for which I sent." There was resistance. There was a lot of wiggling. But God says, "I admire your passion in your heart because you're 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 being steadfast and you're impressing me," says the Lord, regardless of the opinions of people. Amen. Amen. 